Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Hero Do It Comedian, and I'm coming to you with my Mortronic deck. I'll go on to the deck list, it's 42. I'll say that right now. 42 is my comfort zone, it does best at that. You all might want to turn it into a 40 card deck, I don't know. I'm just telling you what mine is and my preference. First is three Morphtronic cell phones, a level one earth machine type tuner. When in attack position, roll a six sided dice. Depending on what the roll is, pick up that same amount from the top of your deck and select one Morphtronic from it and special summon it in face up attack or face up defense. Then shuffle the deck. When in defense, when this card is in defense position, roll six out of dice. Depending on what the roll is, you look at the next number, that many cards from the top of your deck, and then put them back in the same order. So in defense, he, he's good to let you uh, look at what's coming up, and then in attack position, he's great with swarming. Uh, I also forgot to mention he's got 100 attack, 100 defense, but. Uh, He's the key card in any Morphtronic deck. Without him, you cannot run a good Morphtronic build. Three Slingins. Uh, it's a l win level four machine effect monster. While in attack position, once per turn, you contribute one Morphtronic monster, except Morphtronic Slingin, destroy one card in the field. While in defense position, if this card would be destroyed, you can destroy one other Morphtronic monster and you control instead. So he can either be protected, or he can uh, he can either protect himself like a six samurai does, or he can blow stuff up, which protecting himself is pretty good when you gotta face up against Stardust. And plus him being a level four machine, if you have double tool C and D in uh, in your hands, you could always bring his attack power up. His two remotants, I'm not a big fan of it, but it has helped me. It's a level 3 earth machine tuner monster. Uh, when in attack position, you can remove one more. Uh, once per turn, you can remove from play one more Tronic monster in your graveyard to add one more Tronic monster the same level from your deck to your hand. While in defense position, you can send one more Tronic monster from your hand to the graveyard and add one more Tronic monster with the same level as the monster from your graveyard to your hand, which can always help when you're running low on monsters. Tronic Lantern, a level one light tuner machine monster. Uh, a card underestimated in Extreme Victory, short of the fact that it's a level one tuner for Morphtronics. Uh, it's got 200 attack, 200 defense. While in attack position, any effect damage you take from an opponent's card effect is inflicted to your opponent instead. While in defense position, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you take no battle damage this turn. This is the key card. This is another key card. People call it weak, but I don't think it's weak at all. It's helped me get out formula by using cell phone's effect. It's helped me get out live stream dragon by... Uh, after having power tool on the field and it's helped me get out scar, scar Nova Dragon. I don't consider that useless. The three Morphtronic uh, Morphtron Boom Boxings, a level uh, level 4 Earth Machine Effect Monster. While in attack position, this card, ca if the, uh, this card can attack twice per turn. While in defense position, this monster uh, can negate one attack. It's 1,200 attack and 400 defense. Uh, great for bringing out live stream uh, or pow power tool because you can't really bring out live stream land and ceiling one with power tool. Uh, great level four monster to be used with power tool. Great way to uh, swarm the opponent's field. I mean, uh, have the dominant field because of the fact that. Uh, with this being able to attack twice and equipping the stuff with mage power, united we stand. 
you can really make a dog. Three Mortronic Sculptons. Level 3 Light Tuner Machine. When in attack position, uh, you can special summon one Mortronic Monster from your hand to your side of the field. It is destroyed at the end phase of the turn. While in defense position, this monster is treated as a level 4 monster. Second effects, alright. First effects, best because that's an automatic power tool, especially on your first turn if you have this in level 4. So, lanterns, another key card you need to have in a Morphtronic deck. Last monsters, and those are Morphtronic Radeon. I run them in three because it, when you got two on the field, they become pretty badass by themselves. A light level four thunder. This is the only non-machine in the deck. A level four light thunder when in attack position, increase all other uh, Morphtronics on the field by 800. When in defense position, increase the defense of all other Morphtronics by a thousand. So when this card comes onto the field, it's an automatic 18, or if it's in defense, it's an automatic 19. It's a really good level four monster. If it's brought out, if more than one is out, when you have self on, you can have a crazy self on on the field. Three United We Stands can get uh, can get out by power tool, but it can be used by any of the cards in the deck. When I've got the field swarmed with cell phones effect, I love to equip this on the cell phone. That makes cell phone one bad mother. Shut your mouth. Three mage powers. Searchable by power tool and can be equipped to any monster. Gives them 500 uh, for each spell and trap card on their side of the field. Combined with United We Stand's 800 for each much you control. Having these on cell phone or uh, boom boxing or radion can really put you up sh uh, shit creek without a paddle. Three double tools C and D. Uh, quick, quick spell that's searchable by power tool. It can only be equipped to a level four more uh, level four machine Morphtronic or a power tool dragon. Uh, while equipped. During your turn, this card gains a thousand attack. If it is attacked, the effect of the attack if it attacks, the effect of the attack target is negated during the battle phase. During your opponent's turn, your opponent cannot select a monster other than the equipped monsters and attack target. An opponent with a monster that battles the equipped monster is destroyed at the end of the damage step. Very good card, even though it's limited to what you can put on it, it's still very helpful. Uh, Morphtronic Accelerator. This is a broken spell card for Morphtronics. You destroy one card on your opponent's side of the field, return a Morphtronic to your deck, shuffle your deck, and draw another card. When I've not had Morphtronic self on, this always ended up giving me another one. It might be my luck of the draw with a deck, I don't know. But I do know this card is save my butt in more than one way in a duel. Limiter removal. Most of my cards are machine as you already know. So that would it so I could use this for a finishing move or to keep my opponent from finishing me off. But it's still a good spell card. One dark hole. Always good to get rid of uh monster pesky monsters like Black Rose, Brionic Pot of Avarius with uh, cell phone uh, swarming monsters and stuff and synchrony now you're going to need Pot of Avarius. Uh, I don't know if I would have run two I might. One monster reborn to bring back power tool or one of my synchros. Is Giant Trune for my finishing move I'll usually play Giant Trune. Uh, activate limit re uh, limit or removal and BAM! This is Mirror Force this is my only st uh, well no I take that back That's my, this is one of three of my staple trap cards destroys, in a monster, destroys all attack position monsters when my opponent declares an attack two Mortronic Bonds 
when this card is activated as long as I have a face up Morphtronic all level 3 or lower monsters my opponent controls cannot attack or change their battle position bottomless trap pole yes they're both custom uh, when my opponent summons a monster to try and kill off what I've got say like uh, I don't know uh, chaos I mean chaos will still get rid of my monster but I bottomless it so I don't have to worry about taking damage from it one scar no scar red nova dragon level 12 dark synchro uh, dragon uh, gains 500 for each tuner in the graveyard I've got eight tuners in the deck 4,000 it's already a 35,000 3,000 attack that is a lot of points. It's a shooting star dragon, 33 attack, 25 defense, dragon synchro effect, level 12 win, red dragon arch fiend, this is a uh, level 8 dragon, uh, needed for scar red nova, live stream dragon, a level 8, level 8 dragon synchro tuner, earth top, uh, 29 attack, 24 defense. When uh, when this card is summoned, synchro summon, you can make your life 4,000, which is always good, especially when you're down path 4,000. Or you, and then its second effect is, as long as this card's face up on the field, any damage you take. Uh, any effect damage you take becomes zero if this face up card on the field would be destroyed you can uh, remove from play one equipped spell card from your graveyard to protect it stardust dragons three power tool dragon before anybody asks that second ghost rare is a second edition not a first edition I got it over the weekend uh, once uh, once per turn during your main phase, you can select one equipped spell card and add it to, uh, from your deck. Uh, select three equipped spell cards from your deck. Your opponent picks one of them at random and adds to your hand the remaining cards. Uh, return the remaining cards to the deck. If this card would be destroyed while equipped with an equipped spell card, you can destroy the equipped spell card instead. 23 attack, 25 defense key card for live stream dragon and it's a badass synchro dragon all on its own especially in a Morphtronic deck I would suggest at least running two one iron chain ancient fairy dragon um, uh, this is my replacement for black rose until I get one uh, three formula synchron uh, level two level two light tuner synchro machine uh, effect monster uh, when this card is synchro summon draw one card you can synchro this card out with one uh, one other card on your side of the field during your opponent's main phase for a synchro summon uh, love it lets me draw a card lets me sync out for live stream I mean not live stream but uh, uh uh, shooting star dragon and stuff like that uh, it's a 200 attack 15 defense and it's a transformer wannabe anyways that's it for the day this is hero do the comedian signing out and I hope y'all have a great